Okay, so I want to I want to read this to you out of Ezekiel 28 because I was looking for some stuff, some other stuff I ran across, and it's, and it's interesting because of what's going on with the Middle East. Because Israel's got an ass kicking to him coming from a long, long time ago. And uh, basically, here's where it just, it, it talks about what, when it's going to happen, or what's going to happen. So the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, say to the prince of Tyre. Tyre is, was the capital of Phoenicia. They're, the Jews speak ancient Phoenician. There is no Hebrew language, they speak Phoenician. Thus saith the Lord. So now we know that we're talking about, we're talking about, uh, the Israelites because they speak Phoenician because it said it's saying tell the prince of Tyre because your heart is proud and you have said I am a God remember the video I did from Time magazine where the Jews said we are God we buried your God in a midnight service a long time ago you say I sit in, in the seat of the gods in the heart of the seas what's in the what what is in the seas that's the, the Phoenicians. That's the trade business. That's money. It's also the abyss. Yet you are but a man and no God. That's true. They're, not, they're, just not, they're, they're just us. Though you make your heart like the heart of a God, you are indeed wiser than Daniel. Daniel was a prophet that was able to break codes and explain things that were hidden from many, many people. It says no no secret is hidden from you. It's because they know how the system works. They have a, they have a foot up on us. By your wisdom and your understanding, you have made wealth for yourself. There's the banking industry, and have gathered gold and silver into your treasuries. There's your banking system. By your great wisdom in your trade, in your trade banking, you have increased your wealth, and your heart has become as proud proud in your wealth. Therefore, says the Lord God, because you make your heart like the heart of a God, therefore, behold, I will bring foreigners upon you. See, this is, if this is what's coming. I will bring foreigners upon you, the most ruthless of all the nations. The most ruthless bastards in the world are Russians. That's true. When you're dealing with the Russian mafia, there's the, the, the Italians, they only kill people when they get pissed off or and they, they just kill that person. The Russians will kill the entire family. They don't give a shit. Okay, and if you know anything about Jacob and Esau and, and all of that stuff, you'll understand where all that fits in. And they shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. And they shall thrust you down into the pit, and you shall die the death of the slain in the heart of the seas. So, something to look forward to. Well, that story kind of casts a rather gloom on the afternoon, doesn't it? Oh, well. Oh, if you don't, and if you don't believe that the Jews think that they're God, go watch Silver Red Indigo. That's the name of her channel, Silver Red Indigo. Now, we know what the color indigo and what that's associated with, don't we? And then Silver Red. So it's Silver Red Indigo, and she's a Jewish woman that lives in Israel, and I've watched her videos, and she clearly stated that she created the Gentiles. See, I got J Jewish blood from my mom. But I'm only I only have that from my mom. The rest, the, you know, the rest of me is like anybody else. So I don't. I've never ra ra uh, rallied in this Jewish stuff. I'm just telling you. Go to her page, and she'll tell you that they created the Gentiles. I'm a Gentile. I'm not. Well, people are, I'm not worthy. I should be purged. I should be flogged. Okay. So I was raised. I was raised Lutheran. I went to a Lutheran high school. I went to a Lutheran grade school. Okay, and maybe, maybe, maybe I can see things a little clearer for whatever reason. I just have a little keener insight, and I can put things together. But I can assure you that this whole thing with uh, Judah, the lion that you see on 20th Century Fox or, or in the beginning, you know, where it says trademark. Look underneath the lion next time you see the movie where the lion starts. It says trademark. Well, that's the mark. Trademark. Trademark. That's buying and selling. That's the money system. You know, uh, that's what Jesus was speaking out against. Was He was telling you to get out of the system. So that bullshit where it says in the book of Romans, uh, pay your taxes and don't, and don't argue with authority, that's basically Vatican Roman 
uh, propaganda telling you just do what you're told. Okay, so just think about it. Israel's got an ass kicking coming to them from a long, long time ago. And that's, by, that's coming from a power that's far beyond anything that anybody in this world can do about. But, but what's being done here is, what was said is, and this all has to do with this whole Saturn thing. Um, basically, what's happened is he, they were told, because you have turned your back on me and worshipped that star, that star that you created unto yourself, you know, now you guys are going to have real problems. And basically throughout the ages he's come down to say, I know what, I'm not going to punish you now. I'm going to punish your kids. So now you guys can live out the rest of your days knowing that your grandkids are going to suffer for the bullshit that you did. So enjoy the afternoon, you know, because by nightfall your kids are going to pay for it. And that's what's coming for Israel. It don't look good for the United States neither because the United States and Britain are the stepchildren of Israel. And I'm not going to go into the big long explanation about that, but we're called Ephraim and Manasseh. And if you look at any military conflict when the Jews get into something with somebody, who's there right away? England and the United States. So if something's going to happen to Israel, you can bet it's going to be one of two things. Either the United States will no longer be here to defend them, or the United States will betray Israel and allow Israel to be attacked by those from the north, which would more, most likely, by this description, be the Russians. So, whatever. I'm not a prophet. I'm just trying to read this and, and decode this the best that I can. It ain't looking good for the home team, meaning us, because we're guilty by association. Okay? What do you think runs this planet? Christianity or Kabbalah? You better bet it's the Kabbalah. It's the Kabbalah. That's why the logo is Saturn. The logo, the logo isn't a crucifix. The logo is, is Saturn. Understand what's going on. There's an ass kicking coming from the Almighty. See, we're all one big family, except it's not a happy family. The angels, the demons, the God, the, the Son, Jesus Christ... All of us, all of us are one happy family. The abominations, the things that came later are not part of the family. But we're all one big part of the family. But the human race is like stuck in the middle. Because you got the angels over here and you got the demons over here. And we're stuck right in the fucking middle. And people tend to gravitate toward the evil shit instead of like trying to do the right stuff. Or just not do the wrong stuff. And so when, 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 when the Almighty shows up, and there will be one, I don't know what form he's going to come in. The, there will be one that comes as a woman, but may come in the form of a man. That's the one that's going to be doing all the destruction and desolation and then blaming it on the, on, on the creator. This is how the game works. This is where the, de the, the, this is where the um, deception comes in. Because people will think that the creator is doing this when it's really the god of this world, or goddess in this case, um, is doing it. So re always remember why they said the devil wears Prada. Okay, they didn't say, say he wears Buster Browns or he's wearing Nikes. Okay, he's wearing Prada. Okay, he's wearing Prada. The devil wears Prada because it's the female aspect of this whole thing. And we all know, any of you guys have been married or have had girlfriends, when women get pissed, they just can't let it go. Okay, so be aware. Just be aware because the problem in Israel is only going to get worse and we're going to feel it too. Okay, because it says in one hour and one day, Mystery Babylon, and there's no doubt in my mind that that's the United States, will be destroyed. One hour and one day is 25 hours. One hour and one day, you will, it, will, it will be destroyed with fervent heat, and the sailors will sit off her shores and weep and say, Mystery Babylon is no more. Why is it Mystery Babylon? Because the guy didn't know the name for America, and what was Babylon? Babylon Babylonia was the seat of intelligence, of schooling, it was the trade, it's where all the trades came together, and now the United States is mystery Babylon. But in one hour and one day, it will be destroyed with fervent heat. Okay? We all already saw what happened partially to New York. I said it before, and I'm pretty sure that New York is slated to get smacked, because if you understand the words and terms and stuff, they're using, you know, 
when they talk about cups and stuff and you turn one up it's the, what comes out okay an upside down cup you're spilling something you know it, it, New York is gonna get smashed it doesn't matter you could take out a Midwestern town if it, got to, if it gets taken out with the right type of weapon that's gonna cause panic throughout the world but this just isn't gonna be just a one, a one city thing this is gonna be I think it's gonna be a bunch of cities at least two to three because we've done nothing to stop this from happening and we're going to get every single thing that we've got coming see it's it's a fine line between this cabalistic stuff and 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 Christianity because do you, are you aware that they use Kabbalah in the church up into the 18th century they they did that up into the 18th century that wasn't so long ago okay so that's why I said a long, long time ago when I got attacked by everybody that the Bible was written in a, in a Kabbalistic way because it is written in a Kabbalistic way. Okay? And that's why they say you have to use discernment when you're reading the Bible to understand the way that it's meant to be interpreted. You know, I'm not, I'm not a prophet or any of that crap. You don't have to be. You just have... It's, it's not that hard to see this stuff. You know, I just... I've known this stuff since I was a little kid. But the United States is in the state it's in because it's, it's being paid back. Now those two other videos I made before with Saturn where it's got the 369 and I showed you the little ring, it's because the gears, Saturn is the machine, it's the gears, they're spinning, they're moving, things are happening. That's why that picture of Disney in that other video, it showed you the Walt Disney with the three gears. It's because those gears are moving and when those gears move, they represent the, the, the celestial bodies, the stars, the moon, Saturn, the moon, the earth. All of that stuff I've been trying to show you guys is in that little teeny ring that was spinning because it represents the bigger thing that I showed you with the Saturn with the 369. See, there's a lot of tarot stuff going on here. There's a lot of witchcraft and shit mixed in with all of this. Okay? There's all this 369 and 963 that you're seeing in the news. These are all all got to do with the evil wicked shit but the wheels are turning things are happening you know you don't have to live in fear because there's no point of living in fear when the, when it happens it happens enjoy your time i'm spending my time flying you know i'm at you know i mean i'm sitting in the house today because it rained but aside from that yeah fuck it i'm gonna go have some fun you can't stop it the wheels have changed they're spinning there's nothing i can do about it i'm just telling you when you see these things happening you'll understand why they're happening Israel is, pay, is going to pay back a debt that is not going to be forgiven. You know, it, it could, I, I assume it could be if they, would, if they would say they were sorry, but it's not in them to do that. It never has been. That's why, by law, you're considered an animal, remember? Because they said that they're God and you're an animal and you can never own nothing. I don't want to go off on that tangent, but, you know, that still really gets me that you can buy a house... I could go take my settlement money, buy a house, and I still got to pay tax on it at the end because by law I'm less than human. And because I'm less than human, I don't have a right because of my blood is not human blood, it's animal blood. That's the way the law works. That's why your, car, that's why your title says signature of seller. It doesn't say signature of owner. And the, in your deed, your house says signature of tenant. Even if you own it, it just says signature of tenant. You cannot own that land because you cannot prove that you're a human being. Interesting stuff. So just keep your eyes on the news. The wheels, the, the wheels are spinning. Things are happening. The 369, and I'm telling you, I'm starting to see a lot of stuff with the number 7 in there. The number 7 is coming up in a lot of these news stories now. I don't know which, what, what, how that's working, but I'm still seeing the 369, but now I'm seeing 7 standing by itself. So, you know, you can, you can make an educated guess. You know, when they say, well, triple, you know, seven is the number of God. Well, if you, if, if you get a triple seven, triple seven is 21. And what is 21? 21 is two plus one is three. We're right back to that shit again. So if we just use Saturn and that thing that I showed you as a, as a big system of gears where when different positions happen, different things happen, like a magical Rubik's Cube, that's kind of like what I'm trying to explain to you what that thing is. Different numbers, different combinations, different openings for different things.